Well, I've got my cup of tea. Ah, oh, there we go. I've done the simplest of drawings here of sand dunes with a bit of an estuary here and some distance there. Very simple. So I'll call it simple dune painting. So we'll wet the paper all over. There's my palette, lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paints grey and burnt sienna. Cotsman watercolours, 21mm tubes, they're student quality, and the Ron Ransom Lake. A couple of other brushes, a rigger, and anything else that makes a mark really. So I'll just uh, give the paper a coating of dirty water. No, don't use dirty water. <laughs> it's picking up the paint from the sides of the board where it's dried over the years that I've been using this board. So, sort of clean water. Wet in wet as you can see. So I'll put in a sky, a very simple sky, a bit of uh, burnt sienna, a raw sienna, just to warm, give some nice warmth in the clouds. And what you put in the sky, put in, the, in your water. Right, now I'm using burnt blue, ultramarine, and burnt umber. So this would be for my, my heavier clouds. We can come down to the horizon. Put that in the, in the water there. Right, okay, so let's put a bit, 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 of, bit of blue in here and a bit of heavier shadow under. Under the cloud. Okay, now you'll find that burnt, that burnt umber has this great property, well I think it is, of separating, especially if, if I was working flatter than this. You can see that it's granulating. Look, the light red and the ultramarine does that and you get that lovely bit of sparkle that you, you can't get it any other way. It's, and I exploit it. Right, I'm just letting that dry off a little bit before I put in my heavier tank. I don't want to, to take too long on this one. I'm uploading another June painting that I made up. This is, this is entirely made up. But it could be anywhere really. I've made the foreground interesting by putting this little river stream coming down from the hills behind. So the, the hills behind that I'm showing hills over there. But this is all going into an estuary. Let's say, say near the, the mouth of the estuary. Okay, so while that is, that's nearly dry. So let's, let's put in some of that background, that blue. And umbery. That, that'll do. So let's just put it in. And then we'll put in some lighter stuff under here. Just put a little bit of darker shore over there. Cut 
coming down here a bit then. Right, well, we'll assume that that is uh, dead straight along there. Well, it's horizontal anyway. Right, okay. So, uh, I want that, the, I don't want this dune to come above that, but I want that one to come up higher. So, in which case, I've got to wait for that to dry. So, I'll just re clip the paper now. You don't need to stretch your paper. This is a 130 pound Fabriano. It's, you know, I use it because it's very good for wet in wet. It's the only type of painting I do on it. Now you can see how that's all granulating along there. Look, you see in the sky as well. Uh, There's a bit of a lump there. That's just a bit of a hump. So let's just straighten that. That'll do. Right, now using the burnt umber. It's a lovely, lovely colour. Lose a bit of sienna. It's, good, it's a good, good June colour. And then we can put a bit of shadow in there. Let that merge. And we'll warm that up with a bit of burnt sienna. The base here. Right, that's not going to be seen at the bottom now. Okay, so that that will we do, and then we'll go over to the other side and, and shove that in. I'll just dry it off. So take your headphones off if you're listening on headphones. Try not to overwork your, your, your washes, that's a little bit overworked there, but there are bits here that, are, that I like, but I'm going to put some detail in it, it'll, it'll mitigate, but to some extent, but uh, right here we go, so nice sunny colour. Then we put the dark up. Okay, so we'll let that bleed down a little bit, but we'll I'll put in a bit of reflection there. So I want to come along here now with some bluey uh, trees. Bit of yellow in there.
Okay, so we've, we've got a bit of variety in the background there. Just add a bit of warm over there, different colours, just to Okay, I'll, I'll go over this here with some dark with that colour just to show some, I'll do them in blue, to show some some countryside over here. Some bit heavier. Right, so we've got different planes happening there. I'll, I'll leave that background as it is. But as you can see, I'm making this up as I go along. That's gone a little bit muddy, but we're going to put some detail on that. And we're going to use a, rig, a small rigger to do that. Same here. So I'll get dark green. Burn umber, yellow, paints grey. So let's so we're we'll trying to do it randomly. My paint is lovely and stiff now. So this is a dark green, and I'll put some shadow in. It's very similar to what I've just done, but but they all they all come out differently. Showing nice dry brush tendencies there. This side. Oh, I'm mixing my paint is very thick look. <clears throat> paint 
Paint's grey, lemon yellow, burn under. Now we'll uh, put in some markers. Just some sticks going in so a bit of shadow. Now a bit of reflection in there. Bit of that come down there. I'll leave that as it is. <coughs> now I'm going to give that a dry, then a bit of dry brush in here. Take your headphones off. those colours, the blue and the umber, right, take a deep breath, tune out there but I'm not sure I want to leave that in there. No I'll, uh, I'll just put in the dry brush. There. Okay that that will that will do. I can this paper is you have to be very careful with it is it because it's not very rough put a bit of Bit of a June colour there. Right. Now while that is that's going off I'll uh, we've, we've gone a bit high there. So let's just drag that down a little bit. Need to, there's quite a bit of uh, sea there, so let's just do a bit of sky colour. But very loose and faint. Ooh dear. It's ruined. I'll give that a try, then I'll just lift out a little bit of that. Yeah, 
a real big disaster there. Right. I'm just going to, I'm just wetting this inch flat so we can just take out some of that. Right, well while we're at it, let's uh, lift out the, the sails. I'll try and put in a couple of little boats here. This really does work, this lifting out. Just trying to make pleasing shapes there, I know nothing about yachts. Okay, so we'll uh, put in some. I've got to strengthen that a little bit, but I want to put a bit of a boat in it in some way, so let's use the, the burnt, yum, burnt umber and, and the ultramarine. Okay, so we'll um, right. I've got to strengthen that up there. That's not very good. So let's. Uh, right. A couple of figures.
Right. Uh, Why is it sitting in his boat? It only really works but when you've got, got it darker than that, really, but I won't push my luck on it. I'm not so sure about this this one, I, don't, I think we've got a bit muddy there. Anyway, I'll just give it a signature and then we'll... Uh, Mount on it, and we'll have a have a cup of tea yet. Do you think we could do with another figure in there? Uh, all adds uh, interest to the. Uh, to the painting, this is pretty mini. So he's closer, he's further away. No, he'll do, he'll do. Very nice there, so let's just uh, just rectify that. Well, I don't think it's too bad. Let's have a, have a zoom in. Let's just bring the camera out. Yeah, all right, okay. Right, let's look at the background first. So, putting those, the soft wash in here just gives an impression that there's something going on, some fields and trees. Then a little figure there, red as a complementary colour to the green. A couple of markers there. And some small figures, one in the boats, and some yachts. So there we are. I hope you quite like that. That's just Oops. right. There you go. See you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.